Thank you for watching the demonstration of the Gold Ringer. Today, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate the Gold Ringer from start to finish. Set up, operate, and find gold. The first step is to remove the bungee carefully. Remove the classifier. Reach down. Grab the hose out of the bucket along with the shutoff valve and the stand. The first thing I do is I insert the stand into the shutoff valve carefully. I attach the hose to the shutoff valve. Make sure it's tight. And then go ahead and hook everything to the gold ringer. Remove the cap. I would recommend putting this cap into a safe place. You'll want it later. Go ahead and attach the hose to the gold ringer. Go ahead and shut the valve off for now. The next step would be reinsert the black bucket. Add about four gallons of water. At this point, the water is going down into the pump area. And filling up the blue bucket. After you do this, go ahead and attach your wires to your battery. Replace your classifier on top of the gold ringer. on your valve and turn on the switch. Setup is that simple. And now your gold ringer is ready to start classifying down your material and giving you the best chance to find some gold. Next step In this step, we'll go ahead and show how to load material into the gold ringer. What I like to do is just wear a simple glove and help protect your hands. Go ahead and add your material that you deemed gold bearing that you've collected right into the gold ringer. Like to do it in a sitting position, comfortable. Just turn on my switch and begin to run the water through the material. You can see any size rock will run the material right over it. Just continue to run the material around any large rocks removed. Just make sure they're cleaned off. Just run the material through best you can. 
as you can see, it just washes it all away. And earlier, I placed a couple of small nuggets in here to show that in a gold ringer, you don't need to worry about losing gold. It can't go anyplace. It's impossible. It's going to stay in your gold ringer no matter what. So after you run the material through and you deem it clean, go ahead and shut the gold ringer off. Remove your classifier. Reach down. Drain your water, it's precious. Especially out in the desert. That's the nice thing about the gold ringer. You can just keep reusing your water. All your material that you ran is now in this simple catch bucket that is gold bearing. There's no way for anything to get out of this bucket. And if it did get out of this bucket for any, any way, shape or form, it fell in between. You've got to have space for the water to flow in. It will be in your bottom catch bucket. There's a little material in there, but the bottom line is it's not any place else. It's going to stay in your gold ringer no matter what. Because of the guards, nothing goes into the bottom bucket. The bottom bucket remains clean, no debris, and it will always remain that way as long as you don't let the material that does get into this bottom bucket reach the drain holes. And just a, a quick look at what we found. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a nice couple nuggets there in the bottom of the classifier. Easily can see. Now I deem this area gold bearing and I'm going to stay. If I did not find any material, any gold in this material, I may move to a different spot. But remember, once you find it, you keep working the material. That's the bottom line. And the nice thing about it, like I said, the gold ringer, you don't lose anything. It's always in the bucket. Impossible to lose any gold in the gold ringer. And that's it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you for watching, happy prospecting, and happy panning.